What currency would you use? Um, well, we believe that we should have our own currency as swiftly as possible. So it would be a Scottish pound or Scottish pound. something. With your own central nature. bank? Um, yes, yes. So I mean, we've got, I, I ran through the, the list of our energy resources today at Treasury Questions. and We've got 8% of the UK population, 98% of crude oil reserves. Uh, that depends uh, where you draw the border. And there's a big dispute is, over that. Is, there's a big dispute is, over that. This is, uh, I think you've, this re is where I, the I think you've redrawn the international map. Absolutely I think a lot not. of those oil fields are actually in English, but, but, the, the, but, the, but that's the, by the by. That, those are the facts. We Alex have Salmon, a robust Alex economy. Salmon led, Alex Salmon led that campaign, that mm. separation referendum in 2014, uh, with terrific energy and zest. Mm. He did get very caught out on the question of currency and the mm -hmm. question of the EU, and mm -hmm. in the end we know a third of SNP members voted mm. for Brexit. So mm. there was always that difficulty. There was always that divide there. Mm. But Salmon made it clear, and Sturgeon, his deputy at the time, made it clear, this was a once-in-a-lifetime vote. Is it fair to inflict this again on people? I, I don't think it was once-in-a-lifetime. I think it was... Uh, Once-in-a-generation, uh, Yeah. And so if you look at a, a politi political... A political a political, a political generation, as defined in the Good Friday Agreement, is seven years. And we're now well beyond that seven years. So it's time to revisit the question. And, and to go back to that point that you made earlier, look... The, the question of independence would not be on the agenda if the Scottish people didn't vote for parties who support the case for independence.